Hey everyone, Mike Witt here with Contact Industries and today we're going to talk about target hardening and more specifically target hardening for law enforcement agencies. So typically when you're thinking target hardening, you're thinking about a lot of the upfront, close and personal things of an active shooter or someone coming into your facility that's unwanted and you want to keep them out. So a lot of times people will typically think about ballistic glass, structural armor, pass-through trays, and security vestibules. But one of the things I want to talk about is taking a step back and even going outside your facility and starting with your perimeter. So depending on the layout and location of your facility, there's a lot of factors you want to look at in terms of parking locations, who has access to those parking locations, and also the, the uh, street or front side of your facility, what road access is there for the general public. So typically, you want to be looking at things such as bollards. Bollards, gate arms, anything that you can use to control access and, and prevent vehicles from attacking or accidentally striking your facility. So bollards from companies like Delta Scientific, Marshalls USA, or Calpipe, those are some great options that we typically work with to help set a secure perimeter. They have great uh, traditional uh, deep and shallow mounted bollard systems that can help uh, address those issues. Also on the entrance side, you have a host of solutions for crash rated barriers and wedges that can help control access to your parking facilities, especially when you're in a dense urban population. So again, a lot of the times we'll look at companies like Delta Scientific or Barrier One Systems to help uh, mitigate those issues and provide a good crash rated solution to help control access and prevent terrorist attack. Lastly, around the perimeter of your facility, again, depending on layout, location, and what kind of threats you may have in your area, obviously having a good fencing system to help prepare your facility against keeping unwanted uh, individuals out. Uh, typically, we go and we work with uh, Perimeter Security Solutions that handles all of our anti-cut and anti-climb fencing solutions. Again, it's a great chain link alternative that gives you the, um, the breach resistance that you won't find in traditional chain link. Now, once we get to the front of your, of your facility, there's a few things we want to look at. Controlling access, whether it be through a key card system, a uh, code system, or anything like that, that uh, allows uh, secured and authorized personnel into your facility, that's always step one. Uh, a lot of times, uh, if you have the space, we always recommend a security vestibule. Uh, that allows you to essentially create a man trap, allowing people into the first portion of your facility, but not allowing them into the core of your facility, giving your security personnel the time and uh, security uh, protocol to uh, gain the credentials of whoever's trying to get access and admitting them in. On the ballistic side, we always like to integrate ballistic glass solutions wherever it makes sense to deploy them. So obviously in areas that are of your highest threats are areas uh, where uh, you have most of your common traffic through your facility. Um, especially if you're in a law enforcement facility that has a joint judicial uh, branch that uh, has you know, families, people with uh, domestic violence issues, whatever the case may be coming in where uh, tempers um, or personalities could be running high. Uh, any area like that, we typically want to enforce um, some additional measures uh, to help protect uh, civilians and law enforcement officers in your facility. So a few things we have on that front are our um, ballistic glass window retrofit kits. So a lot of these things uh, we've talked about before in the past, but it is an awesome, awesome solution to go and be able to retrofit into your existing facility. As opposed to removing all of your commercial glass, we have an awesome kit that actually goes and retrofits behind your existing commercial glass to give you that ballistic protection without uh, affecting the aesthetic look and appearance of the exterior of your building. Also, we look at deploying and retrofitting or putting in new uh, ballistic windows and pass-through trays. Uh, a lot of locations where uh, civilians are coming up to interface with law enforcement officers, we're creating that barrier between the law enforcement officer and that civilian, um, whether it's to communicate, pass-through credentials, um, whatever the case may be. We create that barrier and that standoff for that law enforcement officer to have protection, um, especially um, in areas where it's just a singular, uh, singular officer or civilian working that desk. Um, we we want to try and give them as much standoff and protection as possible. So pass-through trays, windows, ballistic talk boxes, all those things are things that we look to uh, deploy and implement for law enforcement facilities. 
And then lastly, we look at doing structural armor, whether it may be for walls, depending on the construction and makeup of walls inside your facility, as well as structural armor for your desks. Um, so if there's working desks, again, that have access to the general public, um, anything uh, that we can create that delay and barrier for that officer to be able to respond, whether it's putting ballistic protection behind an existing desk or putting a new desk like a desk that uh, we work with Safewood Designs on as well as First Line Furniture, both two great companies that make awesome product. Um, both of those guys also do amazing ballistic desks that we can um, work with you to uh, custom create a desk solution um, for your law enforcement agency. So uh, again, that's Mike Witt uh, with Contact Industries. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on a brief introduction and target hardening and how it can benefit your law enforcement agency. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to us at info at contactindustries.com or check out our website at www.contactindustries.com. Thanks.